Oh, you want to talk to Mama. She's the one in charge. Y'all seem nice, but if you got business with the Carters, you should talk to Mama. Got nothing to say to you. Talk to her Mama. Talk to Mama. She always knows what to do. The hell do you want from Mama Carter? Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? Ha! <laughs> Law keepers with a conscience? Well, shit. I wouldn't have guessed it. <laughs> nah, I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for them. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the Ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the Rangers could use some powerful friends. Well, am I under arrest? Oh no, you ain't. You'll have to go through us first. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. We don't stand a chance against them. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Old Mama Cotter? A criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad, over and out. How could you arrest our mama? What's she ever done but help folks out? You ain't worth the spit from a smoker. Get out of here! With all due respect, I got nothing to say to you. Not after what you did to Mama. I can't believe you take our Mama away. I thought you Rangers were better than that. I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? Thank you. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but I think we can feed the people who are already here. For now. Don't be modest. Your actions may have saved hundreds of lives. Now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored even. You're quite a remarkable outfit, and I'd like to help you out. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. I have a few things to wrap up here. Then I'll be on my way to Ranger HQ. Rangers uncover human smuggling conspiracy! Subversive leader arrested!
city celebrates as refugees slow to a trickle. Reyes announces unconditional support of Rangers, declares them heroes of Colorado. Uncover human smuggling conspiracy. Subversive leader arrested. I done nothing wrong and you know it. I know you did what you did with the best of intentions, but it still broke the laws of Colorado. Yeah, and what else could I have done? You could have asked for assistance, gone through proper channels. And what channels would those be? Name one that would have helped those people. Well... I thought so. It's true. It sometimes takes the law a while to catch up with justice. But you just have to keep prodding it. <laughs> like I'm gonna prod Saul Buchanan's carbuncle backside while there's innocent people dying out east every day. You're a good woman, Hope, but you gotta wake up. Get gone, piss for brains. If I wasn't locked up, you stinking piece of cum nugget, I'd strangle you with all your shoelaces. Go fuck yourselves. Ain't got nothing to say to trout fucking farts like you. Fuck off. Get gone, piss for brains. Get gone, piss for brains. You come here and let me beat you to death, you useless piece of dick cheese. If I were your mother, I'd be so ashamed I'd burn out my eyes just so I'd never have to look at you again. If I wasn't locked up, you stinking piece of cum nugget, I'd strangle you with all your shoelaces. If I wasn't locked up, you stinking piece of cum nugget, I'd strangle you with all your shoelaces. Go fuck yourselves. I hope you all die old in bed shitting yourselves. No one to love you. Half your mind's gone pureed, the other half scared. Ain't got nothing to say to trout fucking farts like you. You come here and let me beat you to death, you useless piece of dick cheese. If I wasn't locked up, you stinking piece of cum nugget, I'd strangle you with all your shoelaces. Pieces of shit. What can I do for you? Mama Cotter has been a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I know anyone that uncompromising about their ideals. I don't even think she's that wrong. She just went about it badly. Protecting and helping the weak and unfortunate? That is certainly a form of justice. <laughs> but she did break the law so, so, so many times and would have undoubtedly continued. I fear the marshals would have killed her for that regardless of her good intentions.